Hello everyone, welcome to another breakdown video in the feature showcase series of, uh, of Truck Driver. Now last time we made a video about uh, the core element of the game which is the characters and of course the map uh, in the game. Uh, right now uh, we are going to talk about the jobs and the missions in Truck Driver. So uh, if you haven't seen the video yet, we dropped it on Monday, uh, link is in the description to that. Uh, right now we're going to go through the video, we're going to talk all about what is in the video. Yep. Um, and yeah, we already skipped the intro, so let's get right into it. Sven wants us to deliver some wood chips to the power plant. It's a beautiful morning and we don't have any other urgent jobs to do. So let's help him out. Drive slowly in order to attach a trailer to your truck. So yeah, this is the first mission you'll do for Sven. Sven is the, uh, the character we met in the last episode. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, this is the first mission you'll do for uh, for him. Yeah, so Sven owns a, <coughs> owns a lumber yard, that's where we're at right now. Um, most of the missions start with a trailer that you have to pick up on the um, uh, actual area that you start yep. the mission, but that's not always the case. So sometimes you have to actually... <laughs> <laughs> so most of the missions in Truck Driver you start out with a trailer that you have to pick up on the actual mission terrain, but that's not always the case. So sometimes you have to go to a second location to pick up your trailer yeah. and bring it to the first mission location, or sometimes you have to go to a second location and bring it to a third location, um, which requires you to basically drive quite a lot throughout, uh, throughout the map. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's uh, basically every time it's different. It's not always uh, the same when you start out with a mission. Yeah, it's not always driving <coughs> point A to point B. Yeah. Um, and you know, I think we mentioned it in the last episode as well, mm -hmm. but sometimes when you, even when you deliver a trailer at a, at a certain point, sometimes you get a call from the yeah. character that you're working for, uh, and he says, you know what, I, I, sorry I gave you the wrong GPS location, or anything else happens and you have to go to another location. Yeah, and that's also what, what makes Truck Driver uh, such a dynamic game uh, in terms of that uh, the jobs always start out different and always, um, you know, sometimes can be different than what you expect. Yeah. Once you have hooked up the trailer, Sven will send you all GPS details to your navigation system. So, for this navigation sy system, I've read quite some questions whether it's actually usable outside of the mission mm -hmm. system, and it is. You can go to the... Um, just open a map and basically click anywhere on the map and it will yeah. set a waypoint. Um, of course, set that location on your <coughs> GPS system as well and it will tell you how to navigate there. Mm -hmm. So, it's also very useful to get actually to your mission, mission location in the first place. Since this is your first job for Sven, he will only offer you small and easy jobs until he knows he can trust you with more important jobs. When you're on the road, make sure to pay attention to your fuel reserves. Once you see a gas station, it's best to refuel if you're planning on making a big trip. So of course you'll actually also have to refuel your truck, yep. uh, but you'll, of course you'll have to, you have to time this right. I mean, if you're on a route that uh, you know doesn't have many fuel stations, or um, uh, if you have to drive a long way to get uh, you know to your mission, uh, it's best to refuel before you actually start the mission yeah. and to save time. Especially because some of the missions are actually on um, on a time schedule. Yeah. So you know if you're doing a time mission and you run out of gas halfway through, then that could really get you in a yeah. in a rough rough position. So it's always good to I guess um, refuel at, at a kind of strategic um, position. Yeah, and then uh, if you if you do run out of fuel, you do respawn at your garage. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, and also your job will fill, of course, if you're on the job at that moment. So, uh, yeah, it's really a good idea to schedule those, um, schedule those refuels. If you have been driving all day, you might have to take a break at a rest area to restore your stamina by sleeping. And also sleeping, I think we also touched upon this in the last episode, I'm not sure. Uh, but um, you also have to uh, take into account that in the, in the top right uh, you have your stamina bar. Yep. Uh, and if you've been driving for too long without sleeping, your stamina bar goes low. And eventually you'll even fall asleep at the wheel. So that also means you'll really have to schedule in those, those, those naps. Uh, yeah, and your, uh, you can sleep at every position, so you have to go mm -hmm. to a resting area, uh, you have to properly park your truck and, yeah. and sleep there. Um, and if you sleep, you'll sleep for a, a set amount of time. Mm -hmm. If you 
fall asleep behind the wheel, then you know the time that you that you that you need yeah. to recover is a lot longer. So it's always good to uh, actually go yeah. to sleep yourself instead of falling asleep behind behind the wheel because yeah, that's course. never a, <laughs> never a good idea. Never a good idea. And also, if you if you do fall asleep, of course, also your job will fill and you will uh, spawn at uh, the nearest uh, rest stop. Yeah, you can go to sleep and refuel during your mission. You just can't run out of fuel or actually fall asleep yeah. during a mission. Also, make sure to comply with the traffic rules as you don't want to catch a fine or even worse, get into an accident. Good thing we always obey the law, right? Uh, so as you can see, uh, there's two reasons to obey the law in truck driver. Now, of course, you'll get fines when you drive through red lights. Uh, but also you can get into accidents, of course, uh, and that's not good for your truck. No, it will uh, damage your truck. Yeah. Um, it will also damage your uh, motor yeah. in the truck. Um, and you can see the status of your truck in the bottom right of this screen. Mm -hmm. uh, so you see this green um, truck image, and that's basically uh, shows you the status of, of, yeah. of what your truck is, is, how your truck is doing at the moment. Yeah, so it'll get darker and darker, uh, orange and red, and yep. then you already have to get some repairs. GPS will display the fastest route, but you're free to choose your own route in case you want to take a little detour. Truck driver has a seamless open world, so don't worry about running into any loading screens that take you out of the experience. Yeah, I think, I think this point we touched on in the last episode yeah. as well. So there's no loading screens in the game mm -hmm. at all. So only, only literally only when you start the game and when you go to the garage, that's when you will see a loading screen. Yeah. Outside of that, you will be able to drive for hours and hours and hours with no loading screens at all. So it will never take you out of the game and you can drive <laughs> all the way um, through the entire game uh, without seeing any loading screens. We arrived at our destination and we can detach our cargo. So I think to sum up what happened, we accepted a job with, mm -hmm. from Sven. Um, Sven wanted us to take a trailer from his yeah. uh, lumber yard all the way to this location. Yeah. Um, while we were on our way, we did some refueling. Mm -hmm. We slept for a couple hours. Um, we ran a red light and we, <laughs> yeah, and we got yeah, into a traffic actually. accident. Yeah. Um, but we managed to make it here and this is where the parking system kicks in. Yeah. We can either choose to leave the trailer here or park it nicely in its designated spot. Doing this will earn you a little bonus. So you have two options when you arrive at, uh, at a drop-off location. Uh, first of all, you can uh, choose to have, it, have your trailer automatically parked, uh, but then you can also choose to park it yourself. Uh, so there's a designated area where you have to drop it off uh, and um, when you come close to it there will be a meter that says um, how well you are parked yeah. in that spot. And the more accurate you park it, yeah. the higher your parking bonus will be, so it will earn you a little bit of extra money. Um, but of course if you're in a hurry, you can just skip this entire thing and yeah. just straight off go to the next mission. Well done. You've earned some money and experience, and of course built your relationship with Sven. Also, your work will have a visible impact in the world of truck driver. With your help, the locals will be able to expand their businesses. So if you complete a couple of jobs for a, for a specific character, uh, you can actually see that environment of them uh, grow and expand. So here you've got the dock of, uh, of Charlie Dover, uh, and you can see more containers uh, uh, stacked in his uh, in his dock. Uh, also, you can even see he's got air conditioning in his uh, in his building, and he even has solar panels now. So those are uh, like small things uh, that we put in there uh, that you can really see that you're actually helping that character. So I guess that's it for uh, for this episode about uh, the jobs and the missions uh, in Truck Driver. Now, if you missed the previous episodes, of course, uh, go check uh, the links in the description. In our next episode, we'll be talking about uh, the customization in the game. Uh, so uh, we'll hope to see you there. Uh, please uh, give this video a like. Also, subscribe to the channel. For now, thank you for watching. Bye.